The federal government has been tasked to do more to protect the weak and vulnerable in a society against the impact of COVID-19. Although some of the government's past interventions received commendations, a non-government organization says the government's efforts can be made more impactful. Lara Folayo reports. The COVID-19 pandemic pushed the Nigerian economy into recession, and though the country has made a fragile recovery from that decline, many businesses and individuals are still smarting from the impact of the lockdown. To mitigate the effect of the pandemic on livelihoods, a number of financial and other interventions were extended to businesses and individuals during and after the lockdown. Though these efforts have been commended, the authorities are being asked to do more. I also salute the courage of government in confronting the challenge that has mitigated its impact in our society, but it is time for us all to think outside the box. To support the weak and vulnerable in our society. This group laments the gross impacts the pandemic has had on developing countries like Nigeria and how frontline workers have helped contain its spread. It also intends to play its part through support to vulnerable communities. It is not going to be possible to reach and meet everyone's needs, but it is possible to inspire many through a medium that is accessible for such. The next few weeks and beyond Ramadan, the Foundation shall open its portal to students in Kano to access our scholarship scheme. There is a special provision for the distribution of food items to the poorest of the poor in our community to give them a sense of belonging in the society. The gross impact of the pandemic on the Nigerian economy resulted in months of persistent growth decline last year, which caused a cash crunch, job losses and scarcity, as well as a slush in salary earnings. But all that is slowly beginning to change with the country's gradual recovery from recession. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.